Hi, y'all. Uh, we're doing a roll for romance podcast. It's real. <laughs> Great intro. I love it. Keep it. Roll that machine. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Roll for Romance. I'm your woo, baby. <laughs> I'm your DM Emily. And when I go to edit this, I'm going to be like, what the fuck was wrong with me? I love it. We all have a sugar high. I'm your DM Emily. And with me, I have people talking while I'm talking. (laughs) That's my kink. (laughs) Today with me, I have five. No, four. (laughs) Four adventures. Let's answer our question, which is, if your character was an ice cream flavor, what ice cream flavor would they be? Let's start with Sarah slash Lanny. Um, Lanny would be a mochi ice cream. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to say that the flavor would be mango flavor. Ooh. Yeah. Because um, Lanny is very reserved, just like the, you know, you have the the shell of mochi that, you know, can't melt or get on your hands or anything like that. But if you bite into it, there's ice cream inside. Okay, this yeah, has a torture <laughs> This is turning me on. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> Maybe you've got a mochi thing. I apparently. I feel like it's a very satisfying amount of ice cream without like going overboard. Lanny's a very satisfying amount of person without going overboard. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't know. And sometimes their hair is orange and so is um, mango mochi. Yes. Hell yeah. Stun. There you go. All right. Des, what about Tilrano? <laughs> I want to say dirt and worms, mm. but I think she'd actually be green tea flavored because oh, it's more yeah. earthy yeah. and green. What about Melee's? Uh, what would your ice cream flavor be? Well, we had to like workshop it because mm-hmm. I don't, as a human, don't eat ice cream that much. But Melee's apparently would be a gelato, a pistachio gelato because he's nutty <laughs> and high, high fashion. Yes. High fashion? I don't know. Yeah. Much sophisticated. Yeah. Sophisticated. Yes. Scale. That's I feel like word. he'd be Thick. one of those like ones where they put like Thick. gold, like real gold leaf yes. on it. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Amazing. Yeah. A holly yes. slash Ferris. Ferris would be chocolate ice cream, but with a little teeny tiny bit of cayenne pepper mixed in. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it's got that little bite. Sono, I feel, would be some kind of dairy-free yes. ice cream yes. 100 <laughs> like a like a i don't know a cashew milk or a oat like, milk. like a vegan birthday cake flavored yeah, vegan ice cream birthday cake yeah flavor. confetti inside and it costs like ten dollars yes. per pint yes yeah. but when you eat it you're not really expecting much but then it actually tastes super good oh that's yeah. nice yeah. Yeah. worth the money <laughs> worth the money. <laughs> That's so who's tagline now. <laughs> that fight was incredible. Chadley the squirrel and a rich man with a penis named Miles Gloriosus bested the reigning champions of the Conclave battles. Who would have guessed that Gold Grang Triblin was a bunch of parrots pretending to be a man? Luska will talk of this battle for a long time to be sure. I'm mighty glad I decided to take out an ad. Barclay's bountiful booty is sure to be having customers in and out all the time now. Amelia's and Chadley succeeded with some sneakery on Hilarana's part taking the place of Chadley but you know the other guy was a human sack filled with parrots so (laughs) (laughs) it's really okay so you had also at the end of the fight caught the eye of Torfine the pirate queen who her little flump fancy had come down to talk to you psychically and she invited you to come hang out with her because you've intrigued her so that's where we left off the fights finished you were triumphant. You don't really owe anything to Loan Shark. You succeeded, so you don't... I mean, if you wanted to, you could go back and talk to him, but it's... Nurse Shark will probably get the, the news that their champion was victorious, so... Amazing. Yeah. 
that part of everything is settled and good to go. Chadley will immediately scurry off to take the money that he had gotten from things to the people he is indebted to. Or maybe to gamble. Yeah. Mm, Chadley. Chadley, we can't just stay here and do cage matches forever. You all could make an insight check on Chadley as he scurries away. I just don't trust him generally. <laughs> I love him, but I don't trust him. I got a 21. 18. 18. 19. 19. Wow. Very good insight. You all know how to read Chadley by now. And Chadley actually, for once, seems like he's going to do what he said he was going to do. Wow. Good for you, Chadley. Character growth. You're going to have an audience with the Pirate Queen whenever you are ready. It doesn't have to be immediately. And in fact, I would say that she will send to your dressing room changing room whatever the fuck you call it i still haven't decided what locker room locker room locker. a note sent to you that has a, a location and a time to meet with her it is at a nightclub called clear skies and it will be after sunset what time is it now it's like mid-afternoon so we can fast forward or if there's stuff that you want to do before then we can also do that i feel like lanny needs a nap to recover from ferris's boobs Ah. And also just that entire, like, the trauma of seeing a man turn into parrots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anybody could be parrots and we wouldn't even know. <laughs> Maybe the first clue was that, you know, he had a shirt from the parrot bar on. That's true. I am intrigued by this parrot bar, but I also don't want to turn into parrots. Yeah. So I don't yeah. Know. It's parrots only. Anybody else want to do anything besides take a nap? Take a nap. What's Melee's doing? I have some bounty posters to put up oh. in if there's like a bar or an area where you post ads. Yeah, uh, make an investigation check, Neelys. And if you're going with him, you can help him. Ferris will definitely put up some signs and also shop surreptitiously. Sure, I'm just saying uh, you would need to p try to figure out where you would put these signs uh, up. So if I you rolled were, a one. That's what I was saying. Oh. If you wanted to give Melee's advantage by going yes, with Yes, I him. want to give you advantage by going. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. He put the poster on backwards. So it's like the back. He <laughs> just puts it up by like a pirate toilet where you know somebody's just going to rip it down and use it for toilet paper. Uh, 15. After the, the incident with the bathroom where uh, Ferris <laughs> gently guides you away. <laughs> <laughs> but people go in here all the time. This is a high traffic area. You guys can find a central, like, job board message area where there's all kinds of postings and you can absolutely put them up there. What do these bounties say? Yeah. So I, <laughs> I made these in the middle of the night. <laughs> in a fever dream <laughs> and I printed them out on a sticker uh, so one there's two of them one says wanted stolen question mark penis uh, and then there's a picture of a penis but it's been censored out so you can't actually see what it looks like <laughs> yeah. and underneath it there's a little bit of a description that says looking for one penis relic pristine specimen last whereabouts in my pants 500 gold <laughs> reward and then his second one also says wanted on it. And it's just a picture of uh, his brother, which is just a picture of Melee's Glorious because it's his twin. And then it has his name, Dominus Patatus. And then under the description, it says, might be pretending to be Melee's Gloriosis, not a hero in all caps, pathetic muscle definition. And the reward is, I will owe you a favor. Great. So he's going to post those. <laughs> now, I have a question for you, Melees. And is, do you leave any means of contacting you <laughs> on these? <laughs> oh, gosh. Or even who to contact? <laughs> make an intelligence check. Surely to goodness, Ferris would be like, sugar. <laughs> you make an intelligence check, too. Oh, God. Uh, I got a 15. Okay, yeah, you're fine. So okay. I feel like he has, like, little yes. tear-off things okay. oh, at okay. the bottom. Yeah. That is, I don't know, send a parrot to him i don't know how you contact people in this planet I think most likely the the place that would be the best place to send a message would be to greg's house because yes. then what's his face can use his sending stone to talk to you because right now you don't have a permanent address other than that right okay yeah so yeah send a parrot or a crow or whatever to send a line to my mansion my mansion yes my mansion <laughs> my mansion that i live in my parentheses craig's mansion <laughs> it goes by craig but that's yeah it's totally mine though 
I'm a very rich man with a penis. I want to get to Greg. Thinks that he, <laughs> think that he owns it, but really, it's mine. It's a very long cutoff. <laughs> like, <laughs> a it's pirate, like a paragraph long. I'm going to have a pirate come up and just make an intelligence check for them. Okay. One of them comes up, looks at the Miles poster, looks at you, or the Dominus one, looks at you, <laughs> looks back at the poster, looks at your muscles. And then shakes his head like, oh, it must not be, must not be you. He thought maybe that you were Dominus, but you got the good muscle definition. I got definition. the good muscles. All right. Yes. He was smart enough to recognize that. Perfect. All right. Mila is, it takes that as a, like, yeah, successful bounty poster. I did it. I'm going to get this guy. Anything else that's happening? And you wanted to shop? Yeah. What you looking for? I was just curious as to what's around in town. Oh, boy. Yeah. <laughs> what's around in town? Is there... Anything in particular Ferris is wanting? That's a, yeah. Oh, she's probably always interested in looking at clothing. Um, if there's a an adult mature store around on jewelry stores. Because like elderly people so you can buy yeah, medical so I'll equipment. Say jewelry like- stores because, and banks because maybe there's a rich old pirate. Okay. Make an investigation check for me with advantage because Melee's is with you. And we're both interested in the same things. <laughs> 21. Does anyone else want to go shopping while we're about after yeah, you post I will these go things? Out with them. Yeah. So after you post the bounties, everybody meets up. Soda will be there too. Why not? Sure. Sounds good. He doesn't have any money for to spend on things for you, so don't even ask me, Lace. Oh. I got my own money because I'm rich. <laughs> I'm a rich, rich man. So no. Of course he is. Don't look at me. <laughs> don't look don't at me. me. So no. So you all are back in the stone district where most of the shopping is. And you find a number of things with that great investigation role from Ferris. You find absolutely crabulous. Yeah. The crabadashery. Fortunately, Lanny has both of her crabs. And um, they got tired of being a boy. So now they're going to be a girl. Okay. Yeah. So after your nap, yes, you turned into what's what season? Hmm. Let's say spring. Spring, yeah, I love spring, Lanny. So I have my green hair and purple eyes. So there is absolutely crabulous. There are scurvy dogs, which is both a pet shop and an animal hospital. Ooh, so in that's case smart. the crabs get hurt. Yeah. You've noticed a lot of people have pets on here. Lots of people have birds and they're just walking. That's awesome. Yeah. And other, some people have like rats and you have crabs. It's great. Yeah. I definitely feel like I need to get my crabs some formal attire for okay. this yeah, evening engagement. There is a tattoo, a parlor. Um, of course, Barclay's Bountiful Booty, which you've already explored We've explored that booty thoroughly <laughs> we did there is just like a store that has the symbol of an eye patch on the outside of it and no name that Ooh, you'd have to go scary. inside and look in that seems wholesome there's shiver me timbers back in the pleasure caves is where the shiver me timbers is which was a erotic bookstore there's the Arshi blows which we've mentioned before which is like a brothel and uh <laughs> oh my god i forgot about that <laughs> And then there's just some like massage parlors and other types of of, of other brothels back there that are unnamed because I'm lazy. Ooh. Yeah. Well, Ferris definitely wants to go to Shiver Me Timbers. Okay. So Shiver Me Timbers. Absolutely crabulous. Absolutely And scurvy dogs. And scurvy dogs. Anywhere you want to go, Hilrana. I'm I'm tagging along to all those places. I'm just... Okay. But do you want... Is there anywhere in particular other than those that you would want Um, to go to? Um... Go to the tattoo parlor. That okay. Is, I can't think of a name. I wanted to have the, something about stabbing. Yeah. Oh. Like Captain Stabbin. That's that, see, that's like a porn star thing. Though. Captain Stabbin was at one Captain point Stabin's a porn tattoo. star, yeah. but has yeah. retired from that lifestyle. Now he's a tattoo artist. And now he's a tattoo artist. Oh. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Let's start with Shiver Me Timbers. Ferris, please. Uh, not, not Ferris. Holly, please describe to me what you think Shiver Me Timbers is like. Well, I think it's probably one of those places. Like, I remember there's this shop in Las Vegas that's when you walk through the door, you actually have to, it's like you're walking under a giant lady's skirt. Oh. <laughs> so I imagine this is like 
its legs and like a giant lady is lifting her skirts to allow you to walk under them. I really to wanted them to be the crab show. legs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, one is a regular leg and one is a peg leg. Oh, hell yes. yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. Yes. And then you walk in and there are, there's a minstrel playing sea shanties Ooh. that are mildly erotic. Only mildly. Mildly Only erotic. Mildly sea erotic. Uh, and there's just rows and rows and rows of books. There are also nautical themed sex toys. Okay. Lots of like rope what? and tentacles. Of lots tentacles. Of, yes. Yeah, that's the first lots thing I thought of, of. Of tentacles. And also, like, every dildo would have, like, a little anchor. <laughs> well, and also, end. just as a reminder, this is also a place for sky ships. So it doesn't necessarily have to just be ocean themed. Nah, it does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. No, it doesn't. I like maybe there's like, um, yeah, and there's very few. It's mostly books, books but there okay. are a few accessories and okay. uh, things like that. So, because Ferris really wanted a book, some books to oh, read. Yeah. Um, she had asked Barkley at Barkley's Bountiful Booty, and he was books. miserably short of books. But how you would think maybe books would do okay in an airship crash, but or pillaging you know yeah but anyway so she is definitely interested in some erotica hell yeah and you can find plenty there's actually a lot of this store i would say is somewhat more of an erotica library so Mm. you can it take a it's kind of like a take a book leave a book situation You know I would not trust an erotic library that was take a book, leave a book. Well, too bad. That's what it is. <laughs> Mostly, be- and the reason why I'm saying this is because most of these books were probably found through pillaging, like you said, and so like they, if they were found, they probably brought them to here. And well, even if it was a used book, led- oh, fine, it's a used still, book, okay. but that's still gross. Well, you still <laughs> prestigious, prestigious. Yes. Yeah, that word. I was trying to be generous so that there could be free reading of erotica for this, all, but no, nurse, you have to buy them. The nurse and me did not like that. <laughs> There's <laughs> no germ theory in this world. I yeah. Well, Ferris will. <laughs> Is there um, sperm theory, though? <laughs> They're probably, but there's somebody. We'll just. That's one of the books. Is called sperm, sperm theory. theory. Sperm theory. <laughs> and you think it's gonna be hot, but it's just about sperm it's whales. Hot. Yeah. Okay. So we'll God damn it! <laughs> she'll treat everyone to one erotic novel. Ooh. So nice. she'll let you go and uh, and pick a book. You don't have to say the title because we. Don't yes, have, you do. Okay. Yeah, and, and give us a description. <laughs> all right. That's our new we, clothing montage. Uh-huh. <laughs> we were going to actually, you know, leave the pirate island in my mind. No, but we're no, gonna we're going to stay here forever. <laughs> we don't have to do that. I was just kidding. No, no, please, please. Um, if you are getting a book, please give me a title if you have one. If not, don't worry about it. Ferris will get one called Her Moist Options. Her Moist, Her moist <laughs> Options. I want to this is bad as sperm theory. It's trying to be gross. <laughs> so gross. You succeeded. Okay. Um, no one's going to ask Ferris questions about that one. Because they're too, too squicked. Anybody else? Um, Hilrana's getting one. It's going to be called The Wolf Lord's Mate. And it's going to be some uh, werewolf erotic fiction. Is it in the Omegaverse? <laughs> yes. <no. laughs> Mm. Oh, Omegaverse. <laughs> not in the Omegaverse. Okay, yes, not in the Omegaverse. Wink. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else? Uh, yeah, Amelia's is going to get a book called Decadence and Deities. Ooh, Ooh, nice. Which is exactly what it sounds like. Sounds good. Yeah. Like, what does it sound, sound like? like? It sounds like a cookbook. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It it's just a cookbook. <laughs> it's a sexy cookbook. <laughs> Cooking with your goddess. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Mine's going to be called The Dragon's Seamen. Ew. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's about some sailors I that serve a dragon, but they also serve, serve the dragon. dragon. Oh. Is nice. it spelled S E M E N? No, S E A M E N. Ferris does love a pun. Yeah. <laughs> What about Sona? Uh, Sona looks for a relationship advice book. Aww. Poor yeah. baby Sona. That's sperm theory. Sperm theory. <laughs> sperm theory. Yeah. Sperm theory. <laughs> sperm theory. Um, and it ends up just being about the mating rituals of sperm whales. And he's like, it's very confusing. 
Well, <laughs> I, I suppose this is better than nothing. Yeah, yeah. You, you still might be able to glean yeah. something. I think it'd be <laughs> funny if he didn't realize that until he yeah. just like started mm-hmm. implementing some of the tactics in the book. <laughs> He's like, it works. It works. <laughs> so yeah. if, any, if it would work on anyone, yeah, it would be true. Tarana. That's very true. Tarana's like, I don't know what this is, but I'm kind of into it. <laughs> <laughs> it's so unusual. <laughs> All right. Um, so we also wanted to go to Absolutely Crabulous. What kind of crab gear are you getting for your crabs? Okay, so Absolutely Crabulous is it's a, mostly a crabberdashery. Mm-hmm. So it's formal wear. Oh, yes, yes, Yeah, yes. and hats. Um yeah and i just want them to look presentable for torfane so i'm also Uh, i'm gonna get them some um more uh presentable carriers because the carriers that i had before were just the giveaway ones yeah they're very flimsy you know like it's probably not much to look at so these are going to be very tastefully like rimmed in brass (laughs) (laughs) they're for the crowd that's that's not a thing um i hope (laughs) anyway and sc is going to get a little pirate hat with a like a plume very good plume um and cc is going to get um a a lovely gown that has openings for all of her legs that would be so pretty. beautiful. You do spend a gold okay, that's on fine. all this. I'm going to get some stuff here for Chadley because some of the stuff can fit him even though like like the crab outfits yeah, can't because it's yeah, got too wide. many legs unless they do like alterations or something. But the hats and other accessories could fit Chadley. Somewhere. Yeah, for sure. absolutely. For sure. So I'm going to get him a hat and like a new belt for his sword. Nice. Amelia's is also getting an accessory for his penis. Ooh, for when it comes back. For when it comes yeah. back. He misses it. What are you misses dressing it up. <laughs> no one's going to understand why we keep saying little soldier. you got to subscribe to our Patreon. And <laughs> <laughs> to yeah, what kind of vibe are you going for the accessory for your little soldier? I mean, I think he's going to go for the pirate vibe. Nice. Right? And try to get one of those tricorn hats. <laughs> 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 and, and, an eye, and an eye patch. Yeah, okay, sorry, sorry. Tricorn hat and an eye patch. <laughs> <laughs> now my brain's doing the meme thing where it's like, if a penis were a hat, would it wear it like this? Or like this? Weird. Yes. yes. Oh my god. Like asking the real questions here. <laughs> Moving on. They also wanted to go to the pet store. Is there anything you want to get the pet store? A pet. Okay. So scurvy dogs, Lauren. Give me, give me what's up going on in the scurvy dogs animal hospital and pet shop. Oh gosh. Well, they they have like it's like at the museum where they have like the areas where you can actually watch the scientists working. They mm. have that for the vets and that way you can actually like see them taking care of the pets. And then you bid on the fixed animals as they come out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Perfect. So they like they were all in in need of some kind of like forever assistance home. yeah the, yeah there's a they're they're having a special today where that's an adopt adoptathon for uh, orphaned pets because being a pirate is a dangerous career yes it is yeah, yeah. so uh yeah which one are you bidding on well what kind of pets do they have eddie any and all every pet uh, here's my list of pets that are available today <laughs> <laughs> tell <Uh-oh>. me <laughs> a parrot a I very, a very beautiful looking parrot. No, absolutely not. Is it Grang Triblin? It's not Grang okay. Triblin, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is like a little hound dog, hound dog mix. That's very cute. There is a cat, a very angry, mean looking cat <laughs> yes. that's Hell missing yeah. an eye. And oh, and can be friends with Chadley. Okay. I'm trying to think. Emily's like, shut up. I'm trying to think of what would be absurd, but not, but that would be portable. A goat, a ferret, reminds him of our Tom on the Island. Hamster, a hamster, a ferret, and a goat. Okay. The goat definitely has a peg leg, though. Really wants that goat. <laughs> <laughs> is it like a what kind of goat? Like, is it a Highland? goat that like scales absolutely uh, yes. mountainside amazing. it can like go up in the rigging of the sh- of the airship <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah special trained goat yeah 
Goats are very good climbers. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah, he was going to want to bid on that goat. Is it like a full grown goat or a baby goat? Yeah, good question. It's an old goat. Yeah, it's oh. already trained, you guys. It can't yeah. be a baby. And he has a peg like he's seen some shit. He's seen, this goat has seen he's dark things. <laughs> I love it. But he just got his peg leg. He's doing great. Looking good. Looking good. Sweet. How much do you bid on this on this peg legged goat? What is it starting at? Uh, five gold. That's some, that's got to be some goat. Yeah, he'll do the five gold. Okay. No one else bids on this goat. <laughs> I, got, I got a net one on my roll for, for other pirates trying to look at the goat. Elias was like looking around a room and like giving the eyes. Yeah. yeah. Don't anyone else. A couple were thinking about it, but they just. They couldn't do it. And that goat is yours. What do you name it? I don't know. He's going to get to know the goat. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I kind of get the goat vibes. And then, of course, there is the tattoo shop. Ooh. And Stabin, Captain Stabin, a incredibly swarthy, tall, thick, handsome human with just like all these cool, really cool, badass looking tattoos and scars and tight pants showing off. Ooh. His Hams. namesake. His little soldier. <laughs> no, it is. that soldier is anything but little. Oh, wow. So he's, he's got like a, like a extra pocket for mm-hmm. that area. Okay. Yeah. For his front area. First front. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you got to listen to heart to heart to understand that. Um, yes, but he will say, hello, welcome. Hello. Would you like a tattoo? You yes. Want, you want to be stabbed? Yes, please. <laughs> Good. Uh. <laughs> what you want? Uh, I think she's gonna get a little squirrel tattoo. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you get your squirrel tattoo? She's tattoo-ed? gonna get it on her. I think she get it like on her hip. Oh, oh yeah. yeah okay, you get a squirrel tattoo from Captain Stabbin. I'm gonna see how well he does. Oh gosh. <laughs> Oh no. no. That's a low number. <laughs> oh no. It's so not a gonna have to get it redone at another tattoo it's shop not a at a one. future point. It's it's not good. I can't put it any other way. No. Is it a squirrel? <laughs> it looks like maybe a squirrel. Yeah. Like maybe he saw a picture of a squirrel. At it's like one, one of those point. medieval like interpretations <laughs> of, a, of a cat or a squirrel or like That's something. That's a very human like, face. Yes. Oh, God. A cartoon. <laughs> yes. Squirrel. It's like someone was describing a squirrel to someone who had never seen a squirrel ever or oh, any man. other animal. So it's it's like the, the his tattoo, like the line work and the shading and stuff like that is actually all very good quality, but it just <laughs> is just does not know what squirrel is. He does not know what a squirrel man, is. Too bad Chadley left. Yeah. yeah. Sono was going to uh, offer to get everybody friendship tattoos, but after he sees that, he's like, that's yeah. okay. Miles was going to get a tattoo of his goat friend, but after <laughs> oh. seeing <laughs> that... Maybe like we could uh, check out that eye patch store. Maybe they have piercings or accessories. We could get friendship accessory. Oh, friendship so. eye patches. Yeah. Good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Looked mysterious. Yeah, it did look Ooh. mysterious. I'd like to see what's in there. Let's check it out. There's a big curtain hanging in front of the cave that where this shop is. Big, heavy, thick black curtains are blocking out this and you have to push them out of the way. And inside it's dark and it smells kind of like blood and oil. And you see just a very old looking gnome with a hook hand and a very strange eye that seems to move independent of where he's looking with his other eye. And he looks up and he says, hello. Hello. Are you looking to get a modification? Oh, um, what what kind of modifications do you offer? I can offer you whatever you want. Do you do tattoo removals? I can. Just kidding. I actually do. You have skin for me to put over it. I can put a plate. Okay, you know what? I think uh, <laughs> I think I'm good. We actually. were looking for like a, some kind of friendship thing. Is there a friendship modification? 
I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, friendship modification. <laughs> Guys, haven't we got? Why haven't we gotten any friendship modifications? Uh, well, I suppose you could each uh, swap pinkies with each other. Rana just backs out of the store. <laughs> I could give you all uh, mechanical feet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, do you happen to have detachable penises? <gasps> yeah. What kind of a question is that? Of course I do. Well, what would you what would you want for us to commission one? You want a penis. I'll happily put one on you. Oh, oh, it's not for me. It's for well, it could be for me. It's mechanical, well, I'll, I'll have you know. It's not made of flesh. Uh well what do you oh. mean by mechanical? What does it do? It, <laughs> it, it does it. <laughs> it does penis stuff. Is it functional? Yes. But what kind of functions? I'm we, scared which, now. Which we function? hook it up to, you know, your nerves and oh, stuff God. so you can feel things, but Ooh. it's definitely made of non-organic materials. Can it wear hats? What kind of a question is that? Of course it can wear hats. <laughs> That is lucky because you did get a hat. I did just get a hat <laughs> yeah, for that purpose. Yeah. And an up hat. It wouldn't be the same. I appreciate it, but oh. I miss my penis. Yeah. Anyone want a new ear? <laughs> I Can I put of it anywhere? Of my ears, where they are. Um, could you put it anywhere? That's a good question. A third ear. Yes. Yeah, I think we're thinking inside the box. and We should think outside. Eyes on oh. your back. That would be so helpful in battle. Would be helpful. How much is all this? <laughs> Just some blood. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, the I amount have... depends on, you know, how much of a modification you want. He kind of licks his lips a little bit. I'm not sure modifications are for me in, in general, but I do appreciate the offer. Thank yes, you so much. That's a lovely offer. Um, Yeah. He always wants something. <laughs> Sono wants something too. He just can't figure. He really wanted to get a friendship thing, and so he. Do you said, want to switch pinkies? I thought you would never <laughs> ask. Wait, does Milais know that this is Sono now? Oh yeah. Oh, that's true. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm still Ruffalo. wearing your outfit. I'm still Ruffalo. <laughs> he slept no, but in it. Ruffalo's he swam grown in on it. him. You know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> he makes friends easy. He's also kind of thinking like. This could be another way someone could know. There you go. You have a blue pinky. I have a blue pinky. Amazing. That wouldn't take much blood. Just like two vials. What size are the vials? (laughs) 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 You're asking the real question. He brings out the vials. They are like probably about the size of a vial that you would get if you were getting your blood drawn for testing. Yeah, Yeah. Just like a little tiny tube. Everyone can give a weird gnome two vials. (laughs) Yeah. To switch pinkies, no problem. All right, let's do this. I kind of want to get out on it. Anyone, it's just yeah, two any- vials. We'll be fine. <laughs> Anyone we else want switching pinkies? pinkies? Well, yeah. Pinky triangle F- trade. Friendship pinkies? Friendship Anybody? pinkies. Anybody? Yeah. We, have to, outside, so we could do friendship pinky toes if happening. that's more... Oh, no, you don't like your feet touched. We don't want to do don't that. Don't touch the feet. Okay. All right. <laughs> I think I really might find useful would be to have my big toenails swapped out for mirrors. Don't ask yeah. any questions. I can do that. <laughs> That'll be four vials of blood. Uh, four? Four? It's a much more difficult procedure. I'll have to think about it while you're swapping I already have pinkies. the raw materials of the pinkies that you're swapping, whereas oh. I'd have to install mirrors. Oh, Your feet true. are already so perfect. So fair. Oh, thank you, sugar. If you need a mirror, you could just look into my eyes. Oh, uh, well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we all vomited in our masks. <laughs> all right, let's get it going. He he pulls out a, a cleaver. Oh man! Too so bad Zono's not here. He'd oh love God. this. I take it. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Ruffalo slash Zono looks at you. And let's do this, Mark. Mark. <laughs> let's do it. You know, I think I'm out. I I just remembered I have to have my fingers so that I can play violin. Um, I'm. <laughs> I'm just gonna, yeah. I think I'm good. Okay, just a swap of pinkies between bros. Yeah, bro swap. Yeah. 
Totally oh, yeah. normal bro. <laughs> Pinky swapping. <laughs> <laughs> so he takes out this cleaver and he kind of looks at it and he and he uses it to just like cut some materials in half so he doesn't cut your pinky. Your okay. pinky <laughs> he was just doing it to freak you out. And then he he comes over and he grabs both of your pinkies in one hand, like in a fist. You all lock eyes with each other and he says, no, I need you to repeat these words. Oh, I need the blood first. And he stabs you. <laughs> 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 Just a quick stab. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> you need to say the words with me. I pinky swear that we will be pals forever. Now you say it. Oh, I pinky, I pinky swear, swear that, that we'll we will be, be pals, pals forever. forever. And you feel a weird tingling in your pinky. And then that you he lets his hand go and you now have a blue pinky. <laughs> It's beautiful. And oh Soda has like a goldish God. pinky. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Looks exactly like Sono's pinky. <laughs> yeah. And, but luckily I'm not a prince because a prince should definitely not be on a pirate island. We're swapping pinkies. Yeah. We're yeah. swapping We're pinkies. Swapping. Yeah. I'm oh, Mark Ruffalo. We're going to be friends forever. We are. <laughs> And he only sheds a little tear. Sono's <laughs> never going back to his old life. <laughs> He's going to be rough he forever. Of Prince <laughs> Sono is dead. <laughs> All right. No more body modifications, though, I take it. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Yes, after your afternoon of shopping, it's getting to be a little bit later in the day and almost time to meet up with Torfin. When you guys go back to the inn, Sono is going to pull Pilrana to the side for a little conversation. Hilrana, uh, do you have time to talk? Yes, I do. Why is this making me nervous? Um, I don't, I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make you nervous. I just figured that since, you know, some stuff happened, maybe we should talk about it. What stuff? What are you talking about? You know. That, just kidding. Okay, I was, I was going to describe it, but that's, no, that's I, probably more comfortable. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little thrown off by that body. But also, like, is that Melee's pinky? It looks like it. Oh, my God. <laughs> I know that we, we've kind of, you know, had some kind of energy happening, and then we had our intimate time together, and I just uh -huh. wanted to check in on how you were feeling about that. Feeling uh, good. Why? Are you not feeling good about it? I feel fine about it. Is I'm it fine? I mean, what does that mean? It means that it was incredibly enjoyable, and I really enjoyed being around you, Hilrana. I, Aww. I mostly just don't want you to feel any kind of pressure. Like I am expecting anything else of you. I, whatever you want is fine with me. Okay. Just, I would rather know than have something nebulous going on, and not be sure where we stand. Where do we stand? I was hoping you could answer that question. Um, well... Well... well that's my Midwest <laughs> Get up and leave. <laughs> well, uh, time for me to go. It's <laughs> getting <Slap> late. Legs. <laughs> yeah, I mean... I don't... I don't know where this is heading. Um, but I am enjoying spending time with you. Okay. Strangely enough. Yeah, that's mostly kind of what I was worried about, is that you've in the past seemed to really dislike me and the things that I say and do. <laughs> well, so to be fair, most of my interactions with you are you getting people kidnapped and then me fair. having to rescue them. Yeah. So, I mean, this is really the first time I've gotten to know you outside of that. And actually, we're still dealing with a kidnapping situation. Yeah. Right now. <laughs> Which is, I, I was not trying to say that you were wrong in not liking me. I'm just, I'm pretty confused. And I figured, you know, most people are like, hey, let's, let's have some fun with Sono and then let's not ever talk about that again. Aww, so Sono. we can, that's totally fine with me if that's what you would like to do or you just want to every once in a while have some fun or if you wanted something else that's also fine but I don't think you really like me so I'm assuming it's the former well I mean I have enjoyed my time with you and getting to know you more I really I yes I don't think I would be spending this time with you and doing what we are doing if I 
didn't like you. Oh. Strangely. It's all new to me, too. Look, I wasn't expecting any of this to happen. I don't know. I mean, practically, you are the prince, and I'm the daughter of the city's most prolific crime lord. So, I don't know... <laughs> yeah, good point. If, uh... Things should get serious just from a practical standpoint, because... Although my father would love to have connections to the royal family, I don't think your family needs that. Yeah. So I don't know where things are going, but... Okay. But I do want you to know that I do really like you. And I think I found new respect for you during this whole latest kidnapping scheme. <laughs> Wait, you're serious? Yes, yes. He, yes. He looks at you very confused and I'm just as confused as you are. But he he will look at you for a while and he's he seems very confused and then he will say, "I No one has ever really liked me before." Well, that's their loss, Sono, and I think you need to hang out with other people because I think you're actually a very likable guy. I think that you're incredible, Hrana. I, So you honestly are telling me that I'm not just like a sack of crap and that, you know, <laughs> oh, like... Goodness, no. And it's actually... I mean, I wouldn't say I didn't like you before. I thought you were kind of annoying, but you've got lots of likable qualities. And I I think it's sad that you don't like yourself. I, this is... You know Bernadette and I were together before she left. Mm -hmm. I had asked her to marry me. Oh. And she told me that I wasn't serious enough and that I wasn't enough of a person for her. Well, I just, I've gotten that feedback a lot. So that's why I'm very confused. Well, I could, I mean, not to be insulting, I could see why she would think that. I mean, you come off as kind of a party boy, playboy type. Even though I, I don't think in action you really are. I think that's just the air about you. Really, you're very, you're, you've shown yourself to be very kind and generous and a really good friend. I mean, you just swapped pinkies with Melees, which is strange but <laughs> maybe another questionable decision on your <laughs> part. He looks at it and he looks just very happy about Aww. his decision. <laughs> He's but, like, nope, that was solid. Solid <laughs> choice. But who else would swap pinkies with a friend to prove their friendship? So, wow. well, thank you, Hilvrana. That really means a lot to me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go because I don't want you to feel like you have to keep saying nice things about me. No! Come, let's hang out. You don't need to go. Oh, okay. So he will, he will hang out with you. And he'll definitely not cry. He'll cry. He'll definitely cry. Oh. <laughs> so hey there, it's your DM and pal Emily here with just a few quick announcements. First off, hey! I already said hey, but hey again. Thank you so much for listening to our podcast. You're here for the end of our piratical adventure, and it's been super fun. We hope that you enjoy where we set sail to next and that we haven't overstayed our welcome on Luska. If you're enjoying the show, you're having a good time with our nonsense, we would love for you to follow us on Twitter and share the podcast with friends. Share it with people that you think might like it. Share it with your pirate pals. Direct word of mouth, or I guess text if you're sending a message to somebody, is probably the best way to get new listeners. So anytime that you share our show, we are incredibly appreciative quick little reminder that we do have our Patreon now if you want to support the show in other ways and get new cool exclusive content outside of the regular podcast. We have a $2 tier which is just to show some appreciation for the podcast, help support us, and also that will give you access to our Discord. The $6 tier, you'll get our bi-weekly, and by bi-weekly I mean every other week, episodes of Heart to Heart, which is our chat show where we talk about things that involve the podcast that you won't hear in the actual episodes, as well as just some fun chatting between 
amazing friends who love each other and are ridiculously weird and silly. And then at our $9 tier, you get access to our ever-growing stash of spicy stories, which are set within the world of Roll for Romance and feature characters and some special sexy scenarios with them that were written by us and read by us. And I think they're really good. I've had a great time producing them. It's been a blast. If you're a fan of romance novels, if you want a little bit more spice than what you get in the actual episodes of the podcast, this is a great way to supplement that content and get some insight to some of our characters. This week we have a promo from Goblets and Gaze. Let's hear from them. Welcome to Goblets and Gaze. We are a Pathfinder 2E focused podcast that uploads every Wednesday. In our flagship show, Blood of Kings, you can listen as a gaggle of gays grows into heroes together from their adventures hunting down a lost city to trying to open the Feywilds to save the magic of the world of Cyrene. You can also join us every Monday over on Nat20 Productions' Twitch channel for Wayward Arcadium, our very chaotic game set in a magical school. Listen as our cast tries to pass all of their classes while dealing with drama from all sides. You can find our shows anywhere you listen to podcasts. Follow us on all social media channels at Goblets and Gays. Join our Discord community and support us on Patreon for early episodes and special releases. And remember, eat your vegetables. All right, that's it for the announcements this week. Thank you again so much for listening, and please enjoy the rest of the episode. Are you alone? <laughs> Me? Yeah, you, Ferris. Are you alone? Yeah. Yeah, I'm in the Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, Ferris is in her room, um, standing in her um, bath barrel. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's probably getting ready. So you are in your bath barrel. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Completely nude, except you're only washing your foot. Yeah. <laughs> the one foot. You feel the familiar presence of Alphonse materializing in the space. And he is just kind of leaning on his side on the bed in the room and just looking at you. She'll just keep bathing and then look over. Hello, sugar. Hey, Ferris. What on earth are you doing here? Oh, well, I just, you know, wanted to check in on you. Oh. It's been a while, hasn't it? Yes, it's been a while. Did you miss me? You know I do, lover. Well, you know, I'm very busy, and I'm afraid I don't have quite as much time for you. I know. And she's going to try to attempt to get out of the bathing barrel <laughs> as gracefully and sexily as possible. <laughs> Make a dexterity check. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Fifteen. You can you can get out of the barrel in a mildly sexy way. Uh, she'll take it. <laughs> mildly. As much as I would love for this to be, you know, a social call, mm -hmm. I have something I'd really like to show you. Oh, really? <laughs> well, I would love to see it. I'm sure you would. But uh, come here. <laughs> He'll gesture for you to come sit down next to him. Uh, she certainly will. He's just going to place his hand on your front cheek. Front area. On your front <laughs> area. <laughs> 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 on your cheek. Yes. And your vision flashes away from where you are. And you are now looking into a space that you have never seen before. Mm. You have had Alphonse do something like this to you before where he has given you a vision of something that's currently happening through scrying, essentially. It's just his way of being more manipulative about how you can actually do it. He's the one that chooses when it actually happens. You see a hooded woman just crying in front of a pair of guards in front of a doorway, and she is begging them, pleading for them to let her see the prince. Please, I'll do anything. Just let me see him. I need to talk to him. I need to figure out what's going on with all this mess. He owes me answers. And uh, you can make a perception check if you want to. Absolutely. Nine. Nine? Um, you catch the glimpse of a little bit of like yellowy blonde hair. And she's halfling sized woman. You don't see her face, though, from the angle that Alphonse okay. is showing this to you. And eventually the guards will be like, fine, you have a few minutes. Get in there and say what you want and then get out. And they will 
open the door and into a bedroom and you see Prince Grant sitting at a desk, his hand on his head and looking very frustrated and upset. And he looks up and he sees her come in and his face just gets very angry. Oh, thank goodness, Grant. I needed to talk to you about this. We need to figure out what's going on. You need to explain what happened. You need to get us out of here. And he just looks at her and he says, this is your doing. I know what you want and it's not to get out of here. It's not your stupid prince. It's not Celeste. Just, just leave me alone. And she will go over and kind of grab at his hand and he pushes her away and the guards come in to like start to take her away and she starts crying again. Please, this is all wrong. Just let me tell him, let me tell him that I've moved on and that I'm happy here with you and I'll do anything that you want. And he just glares at her and the guards continue to drag her out of the space and then the vision goes away. I'm assuming the little halfling is Bernadette. You would assume. Okay, so just, all right. All right, so she'll check out of it. All right, Alphonse. And why did you want me to see this? Oh, I figured you were going to try to pay a visit to this prince and you might want to know a little bit of what's going on behind the scenes. Oh, Alphonse, are you trying to help me? Hmm. Well, Maybe. I'll be glad to help you. I'm good. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> You going there and figuring this mess out is enough for me, Ferris. All right. Well, thank you, sugar. Of course. Now, am I sworn to secrecy or can I share this with Prince Sona? You can share whatever you want, Ferris. All right. I know you like to. Oh, I do love to share good news. It just disappears. Bye. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. do you still have Don Carlos with you? I do have Don Carlos with me. Carlos. You're back in your room after your cat nap. Yep. Laniver. Laniver. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Sorry to to wake you wake you up. Uh, I I I've waited long enough, and I I must know how did talking to Ferris go? Oh, I suppose I haven't told you yet, have I? No, I've been waiting so patiently. I was hoping you would tell me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, it went well. I think yes. Oh, I knew it would go well. Yeah, we, um, we can. <gasps> <laughs> oh, that's all for now, though. I, I do. I haven't heard back. I haven't heard whether or not she's been able to find out how Melees feels about all of this yet. But, um. Ah, yes, that's yeah. an important question I, to be answered. I did answer. notice that they, they had some time to talk alone. So I wonder if they discussed it, but I'm I'm not sure. It's most important to me that we all remain friends and that everyone feels like their needs are being respected, so. Of course. I always said on my pirate cruise that everyone had to be friends and respectful before any other shenanigans went on. Because you get out on the seas and you're trapped together and you don't want any kind of nonsense going on. Oh, yeah, that's a very enlightened position for a pirate captain to take mental on mental health on on a pirate ship and within your pirate crew and you know harmony and fraternity and all that good stuff is incredibly important wow yeah i can only imagine but i'm so happy for you lenever i'm happy for me too and i hope that i do hope that someday we can get you out of that sword i must confess that your Thoughts of romance and wooing have made me a bit wistful and melancholy. I can only imagine it must be difficult not having a body. I would be happy to be back with my love without a body if she would take me back, if I could find a way back to her. Do you think if you explained what really happened, if you got a chance, that she would take you back? I don't know. I've thought about it many, many times and each time it plays out differently in my mind i don't know i don't know if i could ever win her love back well if i would we want ever, to try yeah if we ever get the chance to try i'll do whatever i can to help you thank you lanover of course i'm gonna go take a nap all right <laughs> that's what don carlos does most of the time is he's sleeping 
He sleeps. Well, I would. I would. Sl- yeah, I would sleep if I was a sword. Yeah, he sleeps about as much as a dog does. So it is after sunset, and you are brought up to the very top of the highest stone spire in Luska. And the top of it has been cut off, and it's an open-air nightclub under the stars. The weather is gorgeous, and it's perfect uh, temperature outside. There's a slight breeze blowing, the sound of the waves crashing below. It's very nice. And you are ushered immediately into a VIP area where you see just Torfine sitting on a very plush couch with her flump fancy floating in the air next to her. And she'll every once in a while just give it give fancy a little pet. And then when she sees you, she doesn't stand up. She just says, oh, wonderful. You're here. Please come in. Come in. Thank you so much. And you all must be Melee's friends. Yes, I'm Ferris. It's wonderful to meet you. Oh, I feel the same, madam. And this is Lanny. A pleasure to meet you, Queen Torfine. Oh, how delightful and polite. It's wonderful to meet you. And Hilrana. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Hilrana. And who's that handsome man next to you? Oh, that's Chadley. <laughs> she, she definitely, she's like, oh my gosh, what an incredible name for a squirrel. Chadley, I love it. And what about that Janasi next to you? What's his name? Oh, that's uh, Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Hmm. He goes by Ruffalo. Ruffalo. Ooh, I like that. And of course, Melee's. Your battle was spectacular. Thank you, my queen. And he'll... He'll deal like the whole soldier thing where he'll like take a knee. He whips out his little soldier. <laughs> he whips out his little soldier. He's that little soldier. Nope. And it has the tricord hat on it. <laughs> you didn't get that body mod. It's still missing. <laughs> <laughs> he you whips know. out the poster. <laughs> Have you seen it? <laughs> I wish I had. <laughs> Oh, please, you can get up. We're just going to have a nice conversation. I thought it was the least that I could do for the champions of today's battle. So please, come, sit, drink, eat, enjoy the stars, and I would love to have your company for the evening. I'm going to sit down very properly with my legs crossed at the ankle. I'm wearing one of the robes I stole, not robes, gowns that I stole from that vampire lady. Been taking it nice. in, in my free time. Yes, and Torfine is immaculate. She's wearing these tight leather pants, very piratey, but Ooh. she has all these beautiful amethyst gems sewn into her clothing and down kind of the seams and this huge necklace and kind of hair piece that's all made of these big amethyst gems. May I say that you just look incredible. Your hair piece is stunning. Thank you so much. I made it myself. Oh, did you? Are you a jeweler? I dabble. I do many things. What are some of your other interests? Oh, goodness. Well, I love fighting and combat. I love games of chance. I love having a good time, meeting new people. A well-rounded individual. Yeah, definitely. I love ruling over Luska. (laughs) How did you come to be the ruler of Luska? If you don't mind me asking. That's a very long story. I don't want to bore you. You can make a persuasion check if you want to. Twelve. I'll just give you the short version, which is I killed a lot of idiots. (laughs) That sounds good. Sometimes you just gotta get those jerks out of the way and then people fall in line. She gives, you a, a, the she gives a, a very winning <laughs> smile after she says that. Yeah, absolutely. It wasn't easy, but things that are worth it rarely are. Now tell me, did you fight them yourself? Or oh, absolutely. They... Oh, do you think yeah. I don't look like a warrior, Milos? Oh. You do. do. Does she? I don't know. I don't know what Milos thinks a warrior looks like. Uh, he'll, he'll just look at her and like saucily move his eyebrows up and down then just be like well then let's see those muzzles oh I, I mine are nothing compared to yours Miles, but sometimes looks can be deceiving Ooh. she'll do a flex and it's a very weak very weak muscle arm it's not not impressive in melee standards 
<laughs> I had a vision of him spitting out his drink, but <laughs> yeah, <that's> disgusting. <laughs> what did he pull out a muscle? <laughs> you you need to that. hire me as your personal trainer. <laughs> have you heard about hyperstress? <laughs> a lot of times, I have fancy lift things for me. Well, that's not a good way to build up muscle. I didn't say I was trying. Is there music? Yeah, there's music. I think a light club wants music. To ask fluffy to dance. Are you fancy to dance? Fancy, yes. Yeah. Ferris will ask fl- fancy to dance. Oh, how sweet. Fancy, do you want to dance? And fancy. Bloop, 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 bloop. That's the noise fancy <laughs> makes, apparently. Comes over and will happily float in the air next to you and put a tentacle on your Ooh. on your hand. Right. And you feel an immediate sense of warmth and happiness as soon as fancy Whoa. touches you. Fancy's like a drug. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool. So, what brings you to Luska? Are you a captain of this crew here? Oh. No, I know why you would think so. I do have the captainly air about me, but no, we are uh, we're uh, visitors to Luska, and we're uh, what was the name of the ship we came in on? Polished Pearl, I think. Mm-hmm. The Polished Pearl. Oh, we're, we're, yeah. So you are part of Captain Anna's crew. Yes. Interesting. Melee's is suddenly worried that he's said too much, so he's actually looking to Lanny and you can, like, oh yeah, you God. can make an insight check if you want to. Yeah, I'd actually like to insight check, like, I don't know, I'm trying to develop a strategy for how we're going to talk her out of one of these GMs. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You can get a, a vibe check on what she's, yeah, absolutely. Oh. You can too if you want to while you're well, dancing. I just figured Well, Melis she was said she liked games her. of chance. I got a seven. <laughs> Eleven. I don't know. He didn't six. roll because oh, okay. he's just going to go for the six? James chance thing. Yeah, none of you can get a read, a good read on her. Oh, she amazing. seems very even tempered, pleasant, but you don't know if that's hiding something or not. I don't right. know if they want anybody that's pleasant while they're talking about overthrowing anything. So, game of chance, fighting or fucking. Yep. So, yes, a member of. Uh, Captain Anna's crew, a fine vessel, the Polished Pearl. Oh, you've heard of them? Oh, yes. They come I've, here often. I've, I've, yes, she, uh, Captain Anna and her crew have been to Luska many times. I wasn't expecting them to come this time, but, you know, sometimes it just happens. Yeah, well, we were rerouted. Oh. Can I say that? <laughs> yeah, we did kind of get attacked on route and we had to um, dock kind of uh, as an emergency measure. Yes, I do believe that Captain Anna mentioned something about you needing to be here for a little while. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I take it you're enjoying the sights? Oh, a yes, great absolutely. Time. To be here. It's just a beautiful and fascinating city. You do a wonderful job maintaining it all. Thank you so much. It's wonderful to hear that, especially from people who don't come here often. Get a fresh pair of eyes. This island is wild, and I love it. Thank you so much, Melees. Are we being flirty? Can I roll for flirt? You can flirt. You can roll for flirt. I'm going to give Melees inspiration. Okay, it would be a persuasion. Oh, well, he rolled a 22. He's going to get up, and all of the movement is in his pelvis. Yes. And his eyes. Yeah. And so he's going to drop his pelvis to the the base of the music while making eyes at her. Yeah. Fuck yes. Please, you have to add my inspiration die, which is yes. a D8. Add a D8. Okay. To your pelvic gyrations. Four. Nice, so 26. 26. This is a Damn. good So ass. all <laughs> eyes are drawn to Melis, but his eyes are on Torfine, and she, you see her do like a little, like have like a little bit of a shiver. Mm. She will cock an eyebrow at you. You are quite the performer, Melis. Thank you. This is actually a, a very popular dance from where I'm from. Oh, can you teach it to me? Oh, yes, I'd love to. And she will get up and, and yeah. dance with you, try to do this <laughs> pelvic dance. <laughs> Just a good, great job. She's Ooh. a natural dancer. Oh, nice. nice. Natural dancer. She's you know how to move that pelvis. She's slightly taller than you also, just FYI. Okay. The ears add a He's lot of height, it. but but I'm not even talking about that. I'm talking about like the top of her head is higher than 
your head. Gotcha. Yeah. I forgot about the ears. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, your ears She's are a so god. lovely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. May I, may I touch them? Oh, Melee, that's a bit forward. Is that isn't an word? I'm no. sorry. She'll, she'll bend her head down a little bit. Just be gentle. They are so soft. So soft. Oh my gosh. Well, you've <laughs> danced for me. You've touched me, Melee. Is there anything else you all wanted while we're here tonight? Uh, we, uh, t- uh if. An amethyst, amethyst, amethyst. Uh, we, uh, we like amethyst, and you have a amethyst. For Amazing. for the listeners at home, <laughs> Lauren is staring at Holly the entire time she says this, <laughs> as if Milis is trying to get approval. Chadley does Ferris. like a face pose. <laughs> Ferris is nodding her head. Yeah, like, yeah Ferris is so 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 doing great it. though. Ferris, your sense of judgment is off because you're still dancing with fancy. Yeah, so she's like, you're doing nailing it. <laughs> oh, you want to add? this sorry is that that was that's a little forward of me not at all just how do you propose to earn it well hi (laughs) (laughs) i don't you've earned the my company and my attention for the evening but i don't typically just give things away oh i would love to i mean what can i do to earn it what can we do to earn it i don't know you're quite a physical specimen, so we could wrestle, or if you prefer something a little bit more mental, we could play a game of cards. We could have a drinking contest, test Ooh. our fortitude. I don't know if you have if you have any suggestions. I'm also willing to consider them. I'm gonna come over and like get in a huddle with Milay, so that he has some guidance. <laughs> I, I would have originally set a dance battle, but I can already see that I'm quite outmatched oh. in that area. He'll get in a football huddle with everybody. Well, now you won that hot dog eating contest. <laughs> oh yeah, that's should true. We, should we recommend a hot dog? Because she's. I'm gonna glance over my I shoulder. I was really feeling some spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. spaghetti. A spaghetti eating, eating contest. contest. I feel like I could nail that, but I don't. I mean. Well, is there a, a chance, a chance? Unless we have, does anybody have a loaded deck? Chadley. Chadley oh. definitely has a loaded deck. <laughs> but it's scroll, but it's scroll size. size. <laughs> it is. Oh, damn it. Well, unless we had a loaded deck or loaded dice, we're going to have to use your strength. So I would go with wrestling, or maybe we can do a spaghetti eating contest. I, I'm very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Maybe there is maybe there is some kind of like if if not spaghetti like a meat eating contest. We do know that you're a meat eating champion. Crabs. Oh, oh, oh god. The crabs in their finery I, shudder. Oh, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. Just not those. Just not those. one of them reaches out and pinches you. Oh, oh. <laughs> sorry. Like land meat. Me. Land meat. Land meat. Mm, land meat. <laughs> Except for goats. Finest land oh, meat. <laughs> yeah, no goats either. All right. I'm becoming a vegetarian. No. It's on the table. Jeez. So oh, no. just looks. So Rana and Sona are just looking at each yeah. other. Now, Rana's thinking these ideas are worse than Sona's ideas. Who's our <laughs> smartest? <laughs> what about a kidnap? How Rana and Sona are smartest? Are you smart, Lanny? <laughs> I am. I don't um, think Ferris and Melee are the smartest. No. Statistics wise, we've established that I have the highest intelligence, but not a high wisdom. Okay, and I so, think I Sona have high is the wisdom, same, but not intelligence. Yeah. I have a 15 intelligence, which is moderately high. (laughs) But Hilrana is very wise. (laughs) Hilrana already told Sono not to mention kidnapping. Hilrana, what do you think of her plan? (laughs) I don't know. I feel like she's into being challenged. I think some sort of physical, I think either the mediating contest or maybe some sort of fight. She did mention wrestling. We already know that Miles can wrestle. I can wrestle. Can't oh promise boy, I won't make out wrestle. with her. Oh, yeah, that will be very hard for you. And then he holds his pinky up to you. I have an idea. I have an idea. Friends forever. <laughs> what about oil wrestling? You are an oil wrestling champion. It's oh, true. And I also think Undefeated. that since she's covered with fur, she would be at a bit of a disadvantage. Now, she might know that, but I think she still might take it because it would be a chance to oil wrestle with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I I would love to watch that. Me too, Son. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's kind of why I suggested. 
Okay, we've we've come up with something I think you will find uh, enjoyable. Oh, I do hope so. What we propose is a uh, an oil wrestling. Ooh, I like that. Uh, you and me in the pit of oil, the finest oil. Of course, only the finest for me and the battle's champion. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> And Absolutely. This. Yes, I would love to wrestle you, Melis. Oh, perfect. Very excited about this. <laughs> All right. She snaps her fingers and a bunch of oil is being brought into the thing in like a, a sunken area of the... There's an oil wrestling pit here already. Of course. They knew it was going to happen. They do. They just <laughs> knew. <laughs> so they will fill it with the finest of oils. And while you're waiting, is there anything you would like to do to prepare for your oil wrestling competition? And I got to get her stats up. I mean, he's going to stretch, work those muscles out, get them warmed up, yeah. jump a little, eat some spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> Chadley's gonna do like the coach thing where he's like behind him, like just a little hyping him up. <laughs> yeah, his little hype squirrel. Yeah. Oh, I imagine him like with his little hands trying to massage. <laughs> oh, yeah, how he's doing that too. He's doing like a little it's massage. He's like, come on. So the way oil wrestling works is that you're trying to get your opponent's belly to face the sky. The first person to kind of get flipped into that position. And does that How be does held Sarah there know for so any much period about of time? Oil wrestling? How do I know? Any, what do, What do you <laughs> think? Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if uh, how long you have to be held there, but I do know that that's the victor is the last one. I think how we'll do it for the sake of time is that we'll have the grappling athletic stuff going on, um, dexterity trying to like move out of the way type of thing. But once you have somebody pinned, you need to keep them pinned for the next grapple check. And if you can hold them in that pin for another check, then that person has won. That makes sense. So it'll just be two successful checks in a row. One to pin and then another one to keep them there. You've got this, Mealy. All right. Yeah. Ready. Uh, anybody making any bets? Chadley's trying to bet money immediately. Of course. With people all around. I'm also hyping you up some more. I don't yes. have any money to bet, but I am going to give you inspiration. Inspiration? Okay. Yeah, I'm not betting any money, but... Fancy will come over and gently place their tentacles on Torfine's shoulders. And she gives Fancy's tentacle like a little kiss. And then Aww. Fancy floats off. She has stripped almost all of her clothing off except for, you know, enough to not be completely nude, but it's just like thong and very, very small, like wrapping across her breasts. Ooh. We always appreciate. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so she's ready. Are you ready? Miles is ready and he's got his game face on, so he's no longer flirting. She gives him a, a, a little wink and I need you to roll initiative. 18. You are going to go first, Miles. What do you do? I guess the question is, can we use uh, spells? Or is it purely body? I think, it w I think you should have discussed this ahead of time. We, well, let's just go. Let's go back a little bit. Yeah. And we'll do. We'll just make that. We'll make that call. So this is purely a test of physical prowess or are we adding anything else into this encounter? Oh, God, I don't know which one is better. No spells, pure physical. Yeah, yeah, because we I don't have any idea what, what she, she could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah she could have like a lot. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah. All right. Pure okay. Physical so pure strength. physical, no magic, none. I do, I must confess that Fancy did give me a little bit of like a an inspiration I for it. the thing. If I I believe that's probably what your friend did as well. Is that all right? Yeah, Lanny's got my back. So we're still on even ground. Then. Perfect. All right, so you are first. She's a little first. bit slower than you. What do you do? He's going to move quickly and try to do and try to just like flip her. Almost all of this is going to be grappling checks. Yeah. So I just I just want to know the flavor of what you're doing. So you roll athletics and she'll do athletics or acrobatics to try to avoid. Ooh. What did you get, Melace? Well, he got a 10, and then he used his inspiration. Oh, okay. So it was a 12. Okay, well, she got a 19 on the die. Yeah. So sure. she automatically is able to very easily dodge out of the way, using the oiliness to 
to almost aid her and slipping out of away from you before you can grasp onto her and she's gonna just give you a little wink and then she's gonna go to try to just tackle you i guess around the waist and push you down to the ground again it's just a grapple check so you can use athletics or, or acrobatics to try to avoid the grapple 18. no yeah you succeed gotta be quicker than that honey so she tries to grab you and how do you maneuver out of the way or just you just like you're too strong yeah, I think he's going to be too strong, so she'll try it. So she will, like, make contact with okay. me, but she just pushes me back a little bit, but I stand my ground. Perfect. All right, it's your turn. And if anybody else wants to try to do anything while this is happening, you totally can. Flasher. <laughs> <laughs> the time-tested technique. That's not magic. It's not magic. I mean, it is magic. <laughs> but it's not really magic. <laughs> no question yet. We'll wait. Um, since they're they've made contact, yes. he's going to try to pull her over his shoulders. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Seventeen. Ooh, that would be a twenty-three. Damn. Yeah. This time she stays strong, and you both are locked onto each other, but neither of you have been able to get a physical advantage over the other one. They Just have hands and over oil. I know. Hands rubbing Just against each, each other other's massage. bodies. <laughs> Deep tissue. Deep tissue. All <laughs> oh, right. Uh, her turn. She's going to try. She's going to try to flip you over her shoulder. Why the hell not? Yeah, we're in possession. <laughs> a 17. Uh, yeah, 14. Okay. So she gets you. She kind of flips you over her shoulder and brings you down to the ground with that movement. Yeah. But you're, you got, she's got to keep you pinned, though. Anybody want to do anything before we keep going? Yeah. What's <laughs> <laughs> up? What's up? Uh, push, push it off a Do it. The oh, front upper? Uh, <laughs> upper. Your front part. <laughs> Ferris will go, you've got the sugar. <laughs> He's inspired. Yes, yeah, so Amelius is inspired. I'm going to... I don't think Torfine is distracted. Damn no, it. I don't think she's... I'll, I'll make a roll for it, but okay. it's going to be a pretty low DC for her to not be distracted because she's locked in. Yeah, she's got a 17. She's totally fine. She doesn't... But I will allow you to have inspiration from that because um, she has not used her inspiration yet. It's your turn. You, you are flipped. She's kind of like lying back on top of you as your back is on the ground. And you're, you're both are kind of up, but she's whole, pinning you down with her body weight, essentially. All right. He's going to try the dead fish out of, or the, the fish out of water. <laughs> the fish out of water. He's just like flopping. Incredible. Uh, Lots of thrusting movements. A lot of thrust. Yeah. Flopping. We least does the worm. Highly arousing. <laughs> uh, I'm going to use that inspiration. <laughs> 16. Yeah, no, even, she, she's not going to even burn her inspiration. Um, yeah, you're able to worm your flop way out. Flop right out of that. Flop right out in the <laughs> oil. You flop out from underneath where her and body is like And it is like, hit, like arms against that. Like, yeah. he looks like a fish. Like a fish. She was not expecting that move and she laughs No one ever does. Bit. No yeah. one expects <laughs> the dead fish. She's going to try to flip over and grab that dead fish. He's going to try to roll out of the way. Grab that fish. Grab that fish. That's another 23. Uh, 14. <laughs> She grabs that oh, fist, fish, slams it really hard into the into the mat in the oil and just holds you and is trying to pin you down. There's fish on the menu? Fish is on the menu. <laughs> I got a natural 20. Oh, I was like, me, come on, get a nat 20. No, it's not a nat 20. She got a 24. Surprising her. She looks genuinely shocked when you're able to get out of her pin. The- Melee's... Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. That was you getting out of the grapple so it's her turn again anybody else doing anything oh man well boobs. she trips and slides in the oil and now she's kind of down on her her side and she's kind of vulnerable i'll give you advantage on this next thing because she got a one like out of 22 so that was for her trying to get you with that roll but she slips as you get that 22 so you have advantage on your tr- attempt to try to pin her now 21 no it's another one <laughs> so you've got her down. she's flustered and, but she's you, she kind of looks at you and she looks excited at the same Ooh, time she's excited too yes. it's her turn try to get yeah, out she's gonna God, try to get so, out this is so confusing <laughs> she's happening? gonna try to get out that is a nat 20 but Damn. okay all right you can roll to see if you, what you got I got a 15. wow this is gonna never end it's never gonna end okay. you can add you can add your um your inspiration 
You I, used, used I used it. it. Oh, I used did Chadley give him inspiration? No. As his coach? What does Chadley say to inspire him in this she, moment? He says, <laughs> Okay, you've got inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> Not the time to talk about that, Chadley. <laughs> Later. Oh my. <laughs> okay. Um, so, yes. So, so I don't want to use nat inspiration against the nat 20 though. Right? Yeah. She, yeah. So she is able to slip away from you. Ooh. It's her turn to try to pin you. Wow. Miley. This is where you guys just see them like flipping around in the oil and sliding their bodies against each other. And Sono's just like. They're getting more and more <laughs> out of breath. Eyes open, mouth open slightly. Super well, hot. I think Hilrana's not doing anything too because she's just like watching intently. She's like forgetting that she could do something. That's another nat one. Yes. God damn it. So you'll have advantage one when you try to pin her. I got a nat 20. Time. Okay, so Yay. I will say because of that, you use her body weight against her in that her attempt to grab you and you pin her in that movement. And so now this is the, gonna be the last roll and you have advantage yes. to see if you can keep her down. Do you wanna do anything for flavor as you try to pin her down for this last pin? Yeah, but only if I succeed. That's pretty good. God damn it. I got a 23. I could do... You could, I, I would use, use my inspiration. inspiration. I'm not going to have her use her inspiration, even though she should. Uh, 23 plus 6. She kind of wants to lose, because she got a, 20, a 24 on her natural thing, so if she she could roll her inspiration. but So you actually get a little bit of a sense of her like seeming like maybe she's going to try to surge against you, but then she just gives you a little yeah. wink and then flops back sexily into the oil and lets you pin her down there. Hell yeah. Well done, Melee. And he holds up his pinky. His yeah. gold pinky. And he's like... <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Ruffle, French bird. French bird. French bird. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, who's, that your friend is very into this wrestling. Oh yeah, we could do tag teaming next time. Ooh, that sounds fun. But as I promised, Fancy and Fancy will float over with a, a big amethyst crystal that it's pulled off of her necklace and hand it to you. Oh wow! Thank you so much. Of course, this is beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, covered in oil underneath me. Oh, nothing is. <laughs> Shall we retire for the evening, or are you busy tonight? Your place or mine? <laughs> well, I mean, I have a oh, palace, do, so yeah, we'll probably okay, your place, sure. Probably <laughs> I'm just in a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> your friends are welcome to join, of course. Well, welcome to join. It would only be hospitable of me. I think I'm good in terms of <laughs> that. Ferris? Thank you. Soda looks at, at, at Hilrana and he's like... Oh. Hilrana's just shaking oh. her head. Will Fancy be there? Oh no, a Fancy doesn't get involved with that type of activity. Damn! Oh jeez. Fancy's going to go to a flum forgy. She does Our, that every night. A floor G? A floor G, floor G. G. Your squirrel's welcome to join if, if, if he seems interested in that. I don't know. Oh, Chadley, you, you don't get invited a... to a floor G every night. <laughs> Chadley's game. Chadley's going, but mostly so that he can try to try to gamble with them. Uh, because that's what orgies He's going to rob orgies everyone. They'll find for, a way. Yeah, they're taking uh, their clothes off. All their money's going to be down there. Is Ruffalo. Okay, so... <laughs> Milius is it yes, Ferris is it yes. yes. Sono is trying desperately to convince <laughs> Hilrana to go. You can go if you want. I'm not interested. This is like a once in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> it's a five sub. I mean, is it? <laughs> oh my God, his wish. Is it really a once in a lifetime opportunity for you, Sona? Yes. That was my whole, that was my only goal for this trip, but that was my secret goal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, secret goal. Well, convince Chadley to go with you, and then you'll have five. Fair enough. I won't bother you about it, but I'm not going to bring Chadley. <laughs> yeah. Exe on. Fortune is also great. Well, Melees could uh, try to... Are there other people around? Yeah, there are plenty of people at the club. You see some people just hanging out. All right, out. we need a fifth. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> immediately <laughs> raises their hand, and, and the, pirate, the pirate queen's like, oh, no. And then another one that's much hotter comes over a little bit more casually, and she's like, all right. Cool. Let's <laughs> do it. You head off for your sexy five sub as you have procured your crystal. So Ferris, Sol Sona, Mele, Torfine, and some rando. <laughs> I'm going to see oh, if it's anybody from the pirate ship. 
Havana is a little jealous. Bar oh, Barclay. Uh, yeah, it could definitely be Barclay. Lanny, are you sure you? <laughs> oh, he's got I'm that bountiful booty. <laughs> oh, mm, I'm gonna roll it. <laughs> <laughs> Barclay is changing the game. I'm going. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so Havana goes back to. <laughs> Alone. <laughs> Miles and Sono link pinkies the whole time. <laughs> the whole time. Also, see how Rana oh also God. sees Miles more as like a brotherly type thing. So the idea of a sure. fire and Ferris is there. Oh yeah. This is well, how is that a problem? This is not Hilrana's scene. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, that's, that's okay. That's true. And, and don't necessarily think that we all. I mean, we. No, make, I'm just no. mad at Sono. Okay, well, Hilrana's allowed to be jealous. You're definitely oh, allowed to be jealous. jealous or just not jealous, interested? Jealous, and she's not interested. Mm -hmm. She's jealous that he would have rather gone off with all of you than be with her. The way that I read it as a player was that you genuinely didn't care. Yeah, you just didn't but care. But he would have definitely tried to make an insight well, check if he seemed Hilrana's like you cared. Well, not going to control what Sono, especially since they don't have... Oh, make they're a not retroactive in a, they're, no, insight check. No, they're not check. in a relationship. And I don't know that they have a future or anything. So, so no, she's not going to be like, no, you no, can't. He's going to make an insight check. He's not a total asshole. And so as he, as he start, as he realizes that you're kind of about to go off on your own and Barclay is getting involved. Yeah. <laughs> as much as I want him to link pinkies with me, <laughs> <laughs> he is going to go back to you and he's like, I'm I'm actually, you know, uh, five sums overrated. Six sum definitely Aww. way overrated. Let's let's just go back and hang out. But she links arms with Sona. And he sheds a one tear from his oh, loss. We <laughs> miss holds up one pinky. <laughs> he just holds his pinky up wistfully. It's like that scene from Breakfast Club. Yes. Oh, <laughs>